I know this is supposed to be a book review, but based on the things, the things that you have said, right, your last comments, especially your answer to the last question, that's the third question, right? I just want to, what would you say is the way forward? Um, because now we are, we are, we've moved from the, the review of the book we're now discussing nigeria and obviously that affects every one of us so i think it's fair that we are we are allowed to have that question and um, that conversation if you guys will indulge us um okay yeah so how do we get to that point like what do we need to do because now the british have left but 1962 dates they have designed a system where we do not understand each other um Funny enough, I, I was asking this in another group yesterday, and I said to my colleagues, I said, have we ever had any president that had the interest of Nigeria at heart, right? And then, then I asked myself again, what exactly is it is the interest of nigeria like what does it mean to have the interest of nigeria because different ethnic groups want different things right mm -hmm. so we have we're left with a system where we don't understand each other we're so disagreeable we have to fight for everything based on our ethnic um, lines or based on our mm -hmm. ethnic regions what would you say is the way forward that's my question thank you all right thank you for that question ubuntu um I start by saying the British have not left. That should be clear from what I said, um, that the difference between the... That's actually of, very loaded. The British have yeah, not left. They have not left. Because there's a difference between the grant of independence and the winning of independence. Winning of independence, you throw the intruder out. If the intruder says, okay, I'm going to leave on the 1st of October 1960, but the intruder has set up the arrangements, the internal arrangements, it is, his fingerprints are all over what was left behind. And as I illustrated, when the head of the army was a Briton up until February 1965. Were we independent 1st of October 1960? And even first, uh, come February 1965, is that when we were independent? What about the, the war that then happened, the Biafra War? Who supplied the weaponry and the tactics for that war? Who actually, as I pointed out, I don't think you've got to that section in the book. Who told Gowan to let Ojuku slip through your fingers in the event of victory? That was Harold Wilson, British Prime Minister. Spoilers! So, they haven't left. They don't leave like that. This is how international relations work. But in terms of uh, the direct answer to your question, what is the way forward? The way forward, I always say that you can only solve a problem once you've understood it. If you go back to our school education, if a maths problem was posed to you, some will get it Im immediately. Some because their brains work differently or because it hasn't been explained correctly. It takes them a while to get it. Right now, the vast majority of our people, including the educated ones, don't get it in terms of the, what was left behind as far as Nigeria is concerned. They don't understand. They haven't done the reading. They haven't had the opportunity to do the reading. So you've got to build up a critical mass of people who get it and understand it. You've got to share the knowledge, spread the knowledge. And when you all get it, well, no, it doesn't, in fact, once you get a critical mass, they then spread the knowledge to the others. It's almost like you're acquiring... Um, some form of um, 
it's almost like vaccination against this colonial disease when you've achieved a high level of immunization it's almost the herd immunity that then comes in that's when things begin to change because right now the few who get it are often being tackled to the ground by the many more who don't get it and they say oh no 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 that's wrong let's look later this is the direction we've got to go in all we need is a superman president tinubu will be the superman who can make this thing work or this other fellow from the north will be the superman who can make it work and we keep looking for a superman or a superwoman but what you need is a superstructure and that superstructure is a simple document which is an agreement between the stakeholders the stakeholders are the ethnic groups that the british threw into the net to make nigeria that document has got to speak to the ibos and speak to the jaws and speak to the house and speak to the speak to the flani speak to the kanuri that is easily said but the important point is know where you're going once you, there's clarity in terms of where you're going where you need to get to then even if the journey is a long way off at least you know the destination and you can start walking in that direction and anybody tries to sidetrack you and say turn left here you say uh uh-uh, uh i know where i'm going that's that's where we're going and build that momentum build that critical mass such that those of you on this platform you get the learning you don't sit on the learning you improve it you polish it and you pass it on don't wait for the state to educate you because they're not going to teach you this stuff you got to learn it and having learned it you got to pass on the knowledge and once you get that critical mass it doesn't matter how many AK47s or aircrafts they have and they would deploy against you they can't kill you all but it is the knowledge that will set you free is really understanding how these things work and as i said at the beginning it's very important that you are able to sift and these discussion groups are very important part of that exercise cuz you sharpen your knowledge by discussing and asking the how comes asking each other how comes and you got to be courageous in in your approach to uh, learning and understanding what goes on in this world if you go the safe routes the easy route i read it in this book therefore i i i um, that must be the answer who is the author what's their agenda how can i cross check what they're saying 